In this video, we will introduce the important concept of queues and servers. In our case, the queue will represent the line of customers waiting and the server will represent the actual food service provided to these customers. We currently have a model that uses an entity generator block to create entities which represent the customers. We also have an entity counting scope which lets us view these entities. To model customers waiting to be seated at the restaurant, we can use blocks from the queue sublibrary. For this model, let us use the FIFO queue block, so entities would leave the queue in the order in which they arrive. Let's say that the front of the restaurant can hold up to 5 customers, so enter the queue capacity as 5. Restaurant services can be modeled using the blocks in the server sublibrary. Let's use the end server block to represent the finite number of tables at the restaurant. In the block parameters, I can specify the number of servers. Let's say we have five tables at the restaurant. The service time field controls how long the entity stays in the server. Let's say every customer spends 40 time units at the restaurant. It is important to note that the lines with the double arrows represent the actual flow of entities through the Simovents model. To view the average wait time in the queue, we can use the statistics tab in the FIFO queue block. To view the statistic, we can use a signal scope block found under the Simovents sync library. Let's now simulate the model. We observe that as more customers enter the restaurant, the average wait time to a table increases. By enabling and viewing other statistics within the model, we can make design changes to our system to achieve desired results. In this video, we looked at how to use the queues to represent the line of customers waiting to be seated and a server to model the amount of time a customer is being served in the restaurant.